when things like the muscles, the brain, the organs start to get low in sugar, there's a signal, it won't allow it to get too low. And so it does something to keep it from getting too low. And that thing is called stress. It raises cortisol, it raises adrenaline, it raises noradrenaline. But actually, as I've looked into it more, I'm more and more convinced that the primary threat to our survival throughout most of our history, and the majority of the time, as in day to day, was not being hunted and eaten and killed and war and all the rest. It was starvation. It was running out of food. That was the real ever-present threat. And so the body raises their stress chemicals to liberate glucose and also to some degree also, you know, fats, uh, free fatty acids, free amino acids from storage to give fuel so that we can survive. And so when you fast, your body absolutely does that whole process. It absolutely raises stress chemicals. And the other thing that we talk about a lot on this channel uh, is the thyroid. And so when you skip meals, but also even just when you have low levels of glucose, your body goes into that stress response. But the other thing that it does is it slows down your metabolism. It slows down how quickly your, burn, your body burns energy. Not enough energy, not enough instant energy in the form of glucose. The body goes, no problem. We, we're ready for this. We're, we, you're, we're aware of the concept of winter and starvation and all the rest. We'll just slow everything down. It's not quite hibernation, but it's like a half hibernation mode that we go into.